Then we were about to walk out. We walked out. The freaking alarm thing went off. The security thing. It was like, I can't get my nigga. I was shook. <laughs> Good YouTube, it's your boy Sammy BMG back with another lit banger, nigga. And the reason why I got this uh, playing in the background is because like, I ain't trying to have, uh, you know, that much editing to do. Let me turn it down a little bit. I ain't trying to have that much editing to do because I'd be struggling with the editing and shit, adding music and all that stuff. So I just decided to do a nice life hack, you know. This is simple. I just be having music playing in the background. While I'm making a video, simple as that, you know. <laughs> but yeah, today what I'm gonna be <laughs> talking about is uh, I'm gonna be talking about how. Let me fix this shit real quick. Hold up. How I got arrested, basically. Not technically. I took. Te I didn't go to jail or some shit. But I got arrested. I got put into a cop car. I got handcuffed and shit. You know, my God, shit was stressing me out. Bro, so I'm gonna tell you how that all that shit happened. All right. How this whole shit began is that one day me and my friend were bored the fuck out of our minds, bro. We decided to go to the mall. We went there and chilled for like uh, a couple hours, you know, two, three hours. We chilled there for like a little while, and then my friend was like, "Yo, let's go to Walmart, check it out," you know, because like the Walmart. In the freaking Ottawa, it's big as fuck, nigga. You can get lost in that shit. But yeah, he was like, yo, let's go in Walmart. I'm trying to, like, get some gum or some shit. I was like, bet. So then we went up there. It was, like, two floors up. It was, like, we were in a mall. The mall was, like, floors. It had floors and shit. The mall was, like, at the last floor. Yeah, it was at the last floor. Floor! I can't talk. Okay. So we went into the into Walmart. We walked around for like a little bit, and I had some money on me too. I decided to grab some gum too and like buy. It. Tell me why this man, my, the nigga that I was with, I'm not gonna say his name or anything, anything like that. Tell me why the nigga grabbed my bag and put like he put two Xbox. CDs in freaking my in my bag, my guy, and I without letting me know or anything like that, he put it in my bag. I didn't even know what time he did it, but it wasn't my bag. And this nigga, he grabbed some J's. I mean, not some J's. They don't sell J's in Walmart. Don't get it twisted. They don't sell J's in Walmart. He grabbed some Under Armour basketball shoes and put them in his bag. So he continued walking. I was like, bruh, what the fuck is that square thing on my back? It was like, it's probably your your binder or some shit. I was like, nigga, my binder don't feel like that. I didn't care, bruh. I just kept on walking. I just kept on, we kept on chilling. Like, And then when it, it was time to get out, when it was time to get out, we went up to the register, bought our gums and shit. I, was, I bought my gum with my money. He bought his gum with his money. Then we were about to walk out. We walked out. The freaking alarm thing went off. The security thing. It was like, I can't get my nigga. I was shook. <laughs> my nigga, I was shook the fuck out. I was about to off it. But then the nigga was like, yo, come here. When the shit went off, he was like, let me see your receipt, sir. I was like, I got my receipt over here. He seen me. He was like. He can go. He just said you can go. He seen both of our receipts because, like, this shit, we went into the same door and the shit went off on both of us. He seen both of our receipts. He said you can go. And then we were walking out. We walked out safely. Like, nobody was following us. Then the nigga, he, he didn't just leave and let us go like that because he heard the alarm. He would have known there was something going on. He sent security after us. My guy, bro, we were walking for like two minutes. We looked back, we seen three niggas, three buff niggas running towards us. 
The nigga that put the shit in my bag was like, yo, run, 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 run. I was like, nigga, what for? They're not coming for me. I didn't do shit. They ain't coming for none of us. Anyways, bro. I said, run for it. He was like, run, run, run. And I just stayed there chilling, my God. And I was like, fuck it, my God. I'm just chill here. They're not coming for me. I didn't do shit. I bought my gun. I got out the store with my receipt. You know? I didn't do shit. Just because I didn't run, that nigga didn't run too. He stayed ready for me. I mean, he stayed chilling there with me too. Until the cops got to us. I mean, the security niggas got to us. They were like, excuse me. Can we, let me, let me check your bag. I was like, what for? I wouldn't take shit from your story, nigga. We just came out, bought some gum. And I showed them everything. I showed them the gum and the receipts. I was like, you can check my bag. I don't care because I didn't take shit, my guy. Are you sure about that? You're free to check my bag. Another nigga was like, I seen him. He was shake. I was shaking too. To be honest, I was shaking too. I don't know why, but I felt that I, like I was under pressure. I was shaking the fuck out, my guy. He was shaking too. I looked at him. I was like, bro, what the fuck this nigga shaking? When I'm shaking too Bruh I gave him my bag They checked Both of our bags But they started with this When they opened the bag They found some nice Under arm shoes <laughs> My nigga I was like What the fuck nigga When the fuck did you put that shit in your bag My guy I was like what <laughs> So then they opened my bag and found like freaking Xbox games. I don't fuck with F Xbox. I don't fuck with Xbox. I don't know why this nigga decided to put some fucking Xbox CDs on my bag. But I don't fuck with Xbox. Simple. So I was like, what the fuck are those doing in my bag, bro? He was like, yo. <laughs> He was like, bro, I don't know, bro. I don't know how this shit got in your bag. I was like, my God, I ain't got no Xbox console or anything like that. I use PS4, not Xbox. PS4, I don't fuck with Xbox. Hey, bro. But yeah, let me continue. I don't fuck with Xbox, so. Them niggas was like, bro. You getting arrested for grand theft. Auto. I'm joking. They didn't say that. They say you're getting arrested for theft. For theft. <laughs> yeah. I'm not this. I can't say that shit properly. Theft. 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 They say you're getting arrested for theft. I said, my God, that shit. I didn't put that shit in my bag. I don't know who did it, but I didn't put that shit in my bag. And they say, but we found it in your bag. I was like, my God, I didn't put that shit in my bag. It was like, they were like, come with us, come with us. We're about to ask you some questions. They took us to their uh, freaking Walmart, Walmart office. Bro, at this point, I was shook. Not because the cops were with me, but I was shook for my mom to, to know. Like, I didn't want my mom to know if she... Oh my god If she fuck If she I didn't want my mom to know That's the thing She still found out though But I didn't want her to know That's why I was shaking and shit Cause if she found out She did still find out So they took us to their office They were like They took everything No look They took everything out of our bags Checking if we still have anything else left Like everything School IDs our freaking binder, sh everything that was in the bag, they took it out, making sure that we didn't take anything else that they didn't find. So then they were like, "What's your parents' phone number?" My nigga, I had to act dumb. I had to. I, I was. I said, "I don't know. I, I don't know the number. I don't keep it in my mind. I just don't know the number." They said bullshit. They didn't actually say bullshit, but they didn't believe me. They said. You know you, you do you know uh, your mom's phone number? I said nah. And then they said, "Do you have ID on you?" I said nah, cause I didn't have ID. I had my school card with me. I gave him my freaking 
cook our on me out like this is not they say this is not going to help us with anything so what they did i gave them they said what's your address i gave them our my address my nigga he sat there for like freaking three hours my guy just dumb trying to find our parents uh contact information I was so tired and I was shaking at that time, but they still didn't find my freaking parents' uh, information. They were like, "What's your address? We're gonna take you home." I was so relieved at that point, but I was still scared. Was they were gonna tell my mom? They got us, bro. They got us up. Freaking three cops, one to the side, another one to the side, and one behind us. They put handcuffs. On our freaking hands, bro. I was tied to the back like this, my guy. I was shook at this point. I was walking. My legs were shaking and shit. And I, I had the gum that I bought in my pocket. They put like they put me against their freaking police car. They were like, sir, what else did he take? I said, nothing. I said, so if I check your pockets and everything, there will be nothing. I said, yeah. He checked my pockets and shit. He found the gum. He said, did you steal this too? I said, nah, I bought this, bro. But chill, chill. He said, all right. But this nigga was aggressive as shit. This nigga was making me do splits and shit. You know how the, they make you spread your legs? No homo. They make you, um, <laughs> they make you fucking, ah, get out of here. They make you split your legs, like, so they check your shit and shit. My, my guy, they put me into the police car handcuffed. To the back, you know, it was two of them. They took the other nigga home too. I don't know what happened to him after that. They took him home. I was in the police car, my guy. The back is so uncomfortable. It's freaking plastic. Everything is plastic. There's no like cushion, something like this, something that's soft. It was plastic. I was freaking struggling. I couldn't sit up straight like this. Every time I try to sit up straight, it pushes me forward like this. I was like, man, what the fuck is this shit, bro? What the fuck is this shit? The niggas were so slow, what the freaking dropping us off. It took us almost an hour just going to my house. And the Walmart wasn't that far too. I slept in the police car, imagine. I slept. I was like this, sleeping. When we arrived, they banged the freaking, you know how the, there's a freaking, like, something to protect, like a gate in front of, like, like there's back seats and front seats, and then there's a gate that's uh closing the both of them. I don't know, you guys get what I'm saying. Yeah, that nigga banged on it. Sorry, wake up. <laughs> I, I, bro. I got shook. I was sleeping like this. Then I heard. Sorry, wake up. My nigga, I jumped. I was like, what? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> and then I remembered that all this shit was happening. We got home. They told my parents. Bro. I was shook at this point. That nigga was like, so we cut these, uh, your son. Stealing stuff from Walmart, but we don't let him off for this one. He's not getting charged or anything like that. Just uh, keep your son safe and all that shit. I don't remember what he actually said, but that's I'm just making that shit up. But he said some shit. So my mom was so she looked so disappointed. This was three years ago. She looked so disappointed. I was like fucking shit. I'm done. I'm done. I said I'm done. In my mind, that's what I was thinking. But and she didn't do anything major. My mom just she said, "This what you doing now, eh?" Fucking, I was shook. I was like, I told her what happened, but she didn't believe me. She thought I was trying to make it excuses. She took away my phone, everything that I use, electricity. She took away my phone, my PS4, everything that I like using. She took away my computer, everything. I had a camera too. <laughs> she took that away too. That's not how I lost my camera though. But she gave she gave me my camera back. But 
She took my camera too, bro. I let her take everything. I didn't have nothing to say back to her. Cause like, what I got my got myself into. I didn't get myself into it. My friend got my, my freaking me into it, bro. Like I didn't ask for this shit, bro. I almost got a record. I was so shook. Like my nigga, he don't know. I was so shook. So yeah, that's how we ended up happening. That's my freaking story time. Hope y'all leave a like. If y'all enjoyed, please leave a like. That helps me a lot. And please subscribe. Cause y'all, without y'all, I wouldn't be where I am right now. We reached 300 subscribers, I think, last week. Just thank you guys. I don't know what to say about that, but just thank you. Just hit the sub uh, subscribe button and the like button to support the channel. And let me know what y'all want to see me doing on this channel next. Anyways, please hit the, hit the like button. Let's try to li reach 40 likes. That's all I'm asking for, 40 likes. Just 40 likes, that's it. And we're good. I'm not trying to for I'm not forcing you. Feel free to do it, but if you're a real one, you do it. Yeah. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all niggas in the next video. Oh, yeah, uh, 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 uh. Whoa, 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 Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TB. I'm in this bitch with 4 Trey. I just pulled up me a A. Real nigga all in my face. 500 racks in my safe. 500 racks to the plug. What you know about showing love? What you know about pulling up and building trucks?